They were last in the league last year, and now they're right in the middle of the pack. That, that makes Green Bay a much better football team. Randall Cobb. Gonna let this one roll, and he's gonna down that. That's a, that's a brilliant play by Cobb. By standing out of bounds, he took the kickoff out of bounds. They'll get the ball at the 40-yard line. A brilliant play by Randall Cobb. This is a little quirk in the rules. Watch him. He's going to step out of bounds first. That puts the ball out of bounds. That's a penalty, and they'll bring it up to the fourth. Well, years ago, we talked to Tom Moore, then at Indianapolis, the offensive coordinator. You got a busted play here, and then oh, no. and Sanchez gets hit. The ball is loose, and it's alive. I have never seen this before in my life. Watch this. Vince Wilfork is going to throw Brandon Moore back into his quarterback. He's going to fumble the football. This is what Reggie White used to do to people forklift them and just lift them off the ground. Mark Sanchez not expecting it, and it was the backside of Brandon Moore that knocked the ball out. Thinking about running one He took play. the knee, though. They just, he took the knee. He did so take now the it's going to run out. He did not spike he the ball. He didn't spike it. He took the knee. And a flag is down. They have butchered this. I'm not sure on two occasions Kirk Cousins did not spike the football. Yeah, that's the end of the half. He took a knee instead of spiking it. Philadelphia is running off the field. This is bizarre. What's the thought process here? Spike the ball. He had a brain freeze. Yeah, that was. Quarterback, kneel down. Just made the clock continue to run. The half is over. That's it. Washington got no points out of that effort. Well, and he doesn't have to. You know, they were saying, well, you know, he wasn't touched, so he got up and they were going to do it. Well, the fact of the matter is he gave himself up. By giving himself up, it's automatically. You could see him slam the ball into the ground. He knew he messed it up. Underneath. Williams has got to get out of bounds, and he does it. He makes a mistake, Joe. He had a chance as soon as he caught it. He Two. Out. One. Game over. Giants win. The big time players need to help this guy out. Roy Williams, Calvin Johnson, two of their biggest players. Third and ten. Here comes Jared Allen, and he's out of bounds. Poor guy, I don't even know if he realized it. And that's a safety. Well, so much for me calling him savvy because he had no idea where he's on the field. Tough situation, but you just can't do that. You have to realize, and you can see him, he didn't even know he was out of bounds. Tough situation for a young quarterback. But you always got to be aware, Ron, of the situation where you are. But listen, I mean, being on the one yard line, having to throw to your end zone three times in a row, tough well, spot. It, to be it, in. it goes back to the, the drop ball by Johnson. I mean, you can't ask a guy who hasn't played much in his four years here, three years in, in Detroit, to throw a better ball backed up in his own end zone against Minnesota. And the Lions have gotten behind, as you can see, early on. And now we'll find the character out. But let's find, I mean, they haven't scored in the first quarter all year. They won't going to do it here only, unless, I shouldn't say that, maybe they get a kickoff fumble and they return it, but only 18 seconds left. You wouldn't think so. But this is where you hope the message that Rod Marinelli has preached to this team week in and week out since, you know, OTA days all the way through training camp, that they still buy in, will hang in there. It's only 2 nothing. Play clock at 5. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. Malcolm Butler, who almost made the phenomenal play that wound up in Percy's arms. There are flags on the field for a celebration. Amazing. Butler, a rookie free agent out of West Alabama. They try to pick play, Al. They tried to go here, but he beats them to the punch. And I'm sorry, but I can't believe the call. Me neither. I cannot believe the call. You've got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. You've got a guy that's been borderline unstoppable in this part of the field. I can't believe the call.
And there is Brady. <laughs> as demonstrative as ever. And Richard Sherman. And points. Nugent kicks it away. And kicks it. Out of bounds. And they're going to say out of bounds to put the ball at the 40. Ross had his foot on the out of bounds line when he fielded the kick. Free kick, out of bounds against the kicking team. Green Bay lets it up to take the ball at the 40 yard line. First down. So they'll get it at the 40, up by nine, and Nugent hit it sideways. Never. Four man rush. Fields. Step it up. Sidearm sling. He's got a connection. There goes Montgomery who lost the football and the Cowboys have it. It's Parsons on top of it. Micah Parsons on the move and Micah Parsons is in. Micah Parsons brings the pressure. It's the escape up the field. Really nice job right there by Justin Fields finding David Montgomery. Leighton Vander Esch with the strip. And Justin Fields hops over Micah Parsons. And I don't think he was ever touched. It is. Mac Hollins out on defense. He's all the way back. Uh, Stevenson. Is anyone doing it? inside the 30, flips it back. Stanford band nowhere in sight. Uh oh, it's picked off. Uh oh, oh no. Unbelievable. Oh wow. Incredible. Chandler Jones takes it in and wins the game for the Raiders. Have you ever seen an ending like that? I've never one? seen anything like that. I have no idea why he was doing that. Oh my goodness. An unbelievable ending here in Las Vegas. I thought I had seen it all, Kenny. We always get the good games. We always get the good games. What an ending. Unbelievable. Chandler Jones, former Patriot. What an exclamation point to end this game. Raiders 6 and 8. Team and a so called rival can't beat them. Uh, yes, but last, yesterday that all changed for your beloved Molly team. That's a live ball. How about that? Now let's take a look here. A penalty flag is thrown on the far side. Well, he stepped out of bounds. And then he was the first guy. Knew what he was doing to make a good play. He did know what he was doing. Watch Ty Montgomery. See how he deliberately gets out of bounds, make sure he's out, and then touches the football. He knew the rule. Out of bounds, he touches the ball. That makes it an out-of-bounds kick. They get the ball in the 40-yard line.